Hi, Linda Behrens here. I'm here to tell you about the new workshops that we're studying to put on called The Fine Art of Clarifying Type. We've known for quite some time that there are a lot of people who want to learn this skill and acquire this knowledge, but they can't make it to a workshop. And so we've decided to create an online learning, a virtual learning experience, so that more of you can benefit from increasing your knowledge and your skill with helping someone clarify type. But before I talk about that, let me talk to you about why that's even important. One of the, one of the early experiences I had doing MBTI qualifying programs and other workshops is that people would come in and they thought they had one type prep, one set of type preferences, and then they would realize during the workshop that they were really something else. Now, this is sometimes a common thing, no matter what method you use, but it, it, that people grow and develop and their first exposure to type gives them some sort of self-awareness and then they take on you know, more self-awareness and then they learn to say, oh, well, this is the real me. But it's really important to get to that real me as soon as you can and not have people believing that they have a type pattern that really doesn't fit them. And there are a lot of reasons, because that becomes the story we tell ourselves about who we are. So we start to make decisions that we might not have made otherwise. And one case in point was a, a woman who had gone through an intense leadership development program where she had taken the instrument, was told her preferences were INTP, she read the descriptions, and it, they didn't fit. So she said to the facilitator, these don't fit. And what she was told is, well, that's how you scored. So she said, okay, well, that must be who I am. And she went ahead and made some life-changing decisions about, about having starting her own business, doing research at home all by herself, and found it not to be very satisfying. And was just, you know, what is wrong? This should be working. So she went to a coach who had been through our process, who learned to do the self-discovery process with her, and set aside the data points and, and the other things and had her read descriptions. And she discovered that really her best fit type was ENFJ. So here was somebody who had an in-charge interaction style, and that's not so bad for working at home as long as you, you know, actually can get things accomplished. But she also had this, this more need to interact and to be with people. And just doing research, while it was somewhat satisfying because it was helpful to people, it really didn't meet her core psychological needs. And it wasn't her. It didn't match her energy. So what, what happens in these times when I've helped people clarify type is that they have really had a, a release of energy. They have more and more energy. They tap into that core of energy and things, when you're doing things outside that core, then if you're doing it knowingly, it sometimes takes less energy. Or you can say, oh, I need to stop and take a break and recharge my battery so you can better manage your energy. So that's, that's a very important piece. And another piece is that how many times have you had people go through workshops where, or a session and they just say, this doesn't make any sense. So they don't really buy in. And if in an organization it's being used as a common language, then, then you have some problems because somebody is seen as being resistant and all of that. So you need to, once people find a good fit, they really buy in a lot more to the usefulness of type. So that's a very important piece. And one of the most important stories I can share with you was one time there was a woman who had INTJ preferences and her husband, they came into the workshop together to become qualified. And her, her husband had declared ISTJ preferences. And we did the, the temperament self-discovery piece. He went home and he said, he had this big epiphany. He says, you know, I'm really, I'm an ISTP. So all of this time she had been treating him and really studying how do you communicate with an ISTJ and doing things that would have met the core needs of a stabilizer temperament and an ISTJ type, and it really violated his needs as an improviser. And so it, it, she, they said it saved their marriage. So these are really, it's really important to 
that give people opportunities to clarify type. So one of the things that we've put together is this. It's not just a webinar. It's not where it's me lecturing. There'll be some lecture piece, but a lot of meaningful interaction. And so we've set up this series of three workshops for each lens, three online events for each lens. But in addition, in between sessions, you get meaningful application assignments to do so that you have something to contribute and some some conversations and you have some real learning as you explore this on your own and you come back to the second session. And the third, third session will be mostly you sharing your stories and Mav asking lots of questions. So it is in truly meaningful interaction during this session, like a true learning process. It's a journey that you're going to start on. And we have a set of three for each lens. You can take all three or you can take the combination. The, the, the other piece that we've added is that there will be collaboration with your cohort as we invite you. We will give you an invitation to a private online discussion forum that will be private for your group, but you will also have access to other people who are using our methodology of self-discovery. Now, there are tips. There are five tips that we have, the top five tips for clarifying type. First, you want to set the frame. You want to get people to have the context, the right frame of mind as they're going through it. You want it to be an open one. If you don't do this, don't bother doing the rest. And you can cross-check with multiple lenses, and it may be too much for the client to have too many lenses at this time, but you use them in the background. So that's number two. Number three, is you will watch and listen for the core drivers of the essential motivators or the temperament as we call it sometimes or the interaction styles what are the core drivers of the interaction style or what are the core drivers of the whole type and the cognitive dynamics pattern so you have to learn to listen for those and, and identify that we'll be exploring these in this program and then use the tools tip number four there are a variety of tools out there one of them is the Matrix Insights online tool. One of them is the, you know, the booklets and the descriptions. I've had alums who've gone through our training say they use the booklets and they're really powerful. And these self-portrait, self-discovery descriptions are very powerful help for helping people find a fit. And sometimes a bullet point list will work. So there's a variety of tools that you can use. And number five, deepen your knowledge. It's a journey to start that deepening process, which never ends. I've been working with type for over 40 years, and I'm not bored yet. And I'm still discovering more and more to learn about each of the 16 types. So I hope you join me in this series of online virtual learning events so that you, too, can deepen your knowledge and learn some of the tools to help your clients and perhaps yourself clarify and verify what is their best fit.